Hello, okay. Now, there has been an improvement in our country's technology sector. One expert says the locally developed coach Vicky is transforming individuals and businesses on how to set goals and develop skills. Now, Dr. Nikki Terrebranch from Stellenbosch Business School says the app is efficient as a human coach when it comes to helping managers and executives achieve their goals. He joins us now live this hour just to unpack this a little bit further. Uh, good afternoon, Nikki. Welcome to today, and thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, I, I saw the headline of, of, of the statement about this before our interview about this chatbot being as efficient as a human coach for goal attainment. Then I thought, wow. Really, really things are advancing in the world of technology. Human coaches now literally being replaced by AI. Just tell us a little bit more about the genesis of Coach Vicky. Is it Vicky? Um, Vicky or Vici? Uh, Vici uh, from Veni Vedi Vici. I came myself. Oh, saw Vici, Vici as in Latin. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, yeah, so the. It really started as a research project about four or five years ago. I was curious about um, the ability to democratize coaching in organizations because coaching is a very powerful tool to develop people, help them with their self-awareness and achieving goals and organizational performance. But uh, it's quite ex it's expensive and you can't give it to everyone in the organization. So I, I built a, a chatbot um, program, some coaching theories and frameworks in it, and we put it to the test. And like you said, it had remarkable results. And that's how it started four years ago. And of course, now with ChatGPT, um, the flavor of the month, we were able to infuse some of that into Vichy. So it really is the next generation generative AI chatbot that, that we're launching now. Thing about, the thing about coaching an executive or a manager or anybody is that personalized uh, 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 contact uh, uh, or what they call it chemistry. <laughs> How do you make up for that with the, with uh, with uh, Vichy? Yes, yeah, Dan. To be fair, I must just maybe also state that Coach Vichy is as effective as a human coach for very particular um, situations. For example, okay. goal setting. Uh, okay. So it, it it can't completely replace a human coach yet. But but the point you make is interesting. You know, we've done uh, several research studies with Coach Vichy where we have different users use it, and then we measure certain aspects and we interview them about their experience. And although obviously a chatbot cannot replace human um, empathy, some people actually feel more psychologically safe talking to a chatbot than to a human because they say that they don't feel judged. You know, because as hard as we try as humans, we have biases and we could, be, we could come across as judgmental even if we don't try to, but with a chatbot, it's not a human. So there are advantages and we see that especially in the younger generation, the Gen Z, they feel very comfortable to share their um, experiences and feelings with a chatbot, sometimes more so than with a human coach. Okay, just unpack for us, what are these things that Vichy actually assists with? You've said it's not taking over yet the full function of a human coach. Exactly. So. In coaching, we have different levels of coaching. You know, at the, at the lowest level, we have what we call skills coaching. So that is when you teach someone, in a sense, how to do a better presentation um, or how to be better in meetings. Then you have um, what we call transactional coaching, which is really helping someone set goals, think through it, understand what's blocking them, and then motivating them to achieve the goals. And at the highest level, you have developmental coaching which humans at this stage are the only ones that can do, it is to really help someone with their inner psychology and understanding who they are. So Coach Vici at this stage work in that middle level where uh, in an organizational setting, um, we, we will divide the employees up into teams or the teams that they naturally work in. You can then set objectives for the team. For example, the finance team should be, uh, should be uh, helping to save cost in the organization. And then the chatbot, um, and we use it on WhatsApp, so it's integrated into your daily uh, usage of your technology. Um, the chatbot coach Vici can then help you set an individual goal um, to help reach the team's objective. And then we report on it and there's monitoring and we can see how everything is progressing. So it's this tool that's in your pocket on WhatsApp. Everyone in the organization uses it and it helps people to drive individual goal setting towards a collective objective. And it makes it very affordable then for a company because it's not 
coaching at an individual uh, level can be very costly. Exactly, that's exactly, and that was the whole point of democratizing coaching. You know, especially in, in the African context, in the South African context, you know, there, there are many people that would never be able to afford um, to speak to a coach. And uh, although we're focusing on, on organizations at the moment, we also want to make this wider available, uh, potentially to NGOs and ultimately individuals, um, because the power of having uh, a well-informed, theoretically-based chatbot help you think about your goals and achieve it is, uh, you know, can be so rewarding. Well, we all know what happens um, on New Year's Eve when we all have our New Year's resolutions, uh, we set our goals, and then we all know what happens a month if that long afterwards. So imagine a, a chatbot in your pocket that can help you stick to those goals. I like your idea of assisting NGOs because they are the ones on a daily basis who literally give hope to millions of people who are facing all kinds of challenges. And perhaps when you start uh, interacting with NGOs, Nikki, you could do that pro bono and pilot and see because the NGO sector will face different kind of, of, of objectives. So, so it's still not fully like there are you still developing it and what are the next goals you are setting yourselves in growing vici no we de we definitely have we launched the version um, that is integrated with chat gpt on in september so we're live we're up and running we have a number of clients already that we signed up in south africa and overseas but of course it keeps evolving and the exciting thing is with generative artificial intelligence such as chat gpt um, produced by open ai um, you know, every few months they release new features and we are working hard as a team of uh, software specialists and with me as the coaching lead to try and see how we can bring this into Coach Vici to make it even more uh, advanced and, and to try and uh, uh, approximate what a human coach can do. Yeah. Also, I have a number of students, um, I'm a full-time faculty at Stellenbosch University, so we have, I have PhD and master's students and we are actively researching where we can apply Coach Vici and in general, chatbot coaching in which context. And then as soon as we have positive results, we will bring that back into the product. Um, so it's a collaboration with the university because I believe very strongly that we should only include features that have been tested scientifically. And, and I think that's also what sets Vichy apart. You know, anyone can build a chatbot, but has it been tested scientifically? And in our case, that's the approach that we are taking. Yeah, I, I mean, it's really all about farming and, and collating and, and putting together in an effective way data-driven insights and that suggests you also want to do that in a secure environment and when we speak to cyber security experts they're always warning us about uh, uh, you know dangers there or risks thereof are there risks associated with Vichy for example and if so how are you mitigating for them then I'm glad you asked that question because I'm, I'm following a lot of um, uh, uh, researchers and thought leaders in the space of artificial intelligence. And generally, just before I, I get to your specific uh, question, I think there is risk in anything, right? There's risk in having electricity in your house because uh, your child could stick its, your, your, your finger in the socket. But I think we must be careful not to overhype the, the risk that's associated with the artificial intelligence because if we are too overly cautious, we throw away a lot of potential benefit for not necessarily such a high risk uh, um, you know, scenario. So that's just the background to that. But of course, we take security very seriously. So we have a number of um, issues in place. For example, we don't store contact information in Coach Vici itself. Um, we have a mechanism how we integrate with the organization. Um, the conversations are stored in encrypted format, so it's not accessible to anyone. Um, and then we use the open AI chat GPT interface. So we ad adhere as well to their uh, you know, policies. And none of the data that is recorded in the chatbot is actually used to train any models. So it's not like anything you say to the chatbot will be uh, leaking out into the world of open AI or chat GPT. And then importantly, when we report, we don't report on individual levels. So for example, every time you interact with a chatbot, we will, and we will analyze the sentiment, um, the, your tone and sentiment of how you interacted, what state of mind you're in, in a positive or a negative space. And then we report on a, on a team or a departmental level to show um, the company that for this department or that large team, generally for the last while, things haven't been going that well, but never on an individual level. So we do take okay. it very seriously.
Yeah, I guess many organizations, because of the cost thing, but also the accessibility that you've explained, would love to have an intelligent virtual coach. Uh, uh, is, is Vichy white labeled so an organization can take it and then put their logo and stuff like that and work with their HR division, things like that? Absolutely, absolutely, because we understand that if an organization makes this tool available, Coach Vichy, to their employees, they also want to be seen as the fact that they are caring and, and helping the employees so it, we can can be white labeled mm -hmm. you can also add your own uh, um, conversation pieces into coach Vichy, and it can also act as a portal for example to lead uh, employees to, to okay. hr sites or to other information beautiful thank you very much for your time nikki and uh, good luck i'm sure there'll be more advances coming in the near future and we might catch up with you as well uh, sooner than later that's dr nikki terblanche he's of course from uh, stellenbosch business uh, school they have launched just about three years ago this um, intelligent virtual uh, uh, coach, uh, Vichy. Now, government says it's hoping to address the digital gap in the country. The youth is being urged to improve its digital.